There are so many colors and they are all around us. We use them all day long during creating visualizations. But have you ever analyzed any of them? And do you truly understand what their characteristics are? I'm Aga from Arvis Artist and in today's video I'm gonna introduce you to the Color Fury Basics. large topic and we'll divide this into parts. I'm gonna start from the very basics to be sure that all of us are on the same page. Let's start from the beginning. We have three primary colors, red, yellow and blue. We can get all other colors just from this three. By mixing the primary colors we will get secondary colors, orange, violet and green. By mixing these colors with their neighbors, we will get six additional colors. Yellow-green, yellow-orange, red-orange, red-violet, blue-violet and blue-green. These are called tertiary colors. So we can get 12 colors with maximum intensity. Each color has a value. A tint of color is created by mixing a color with white. By doing this, we increase a value of a color. A shade, on the other hand, is created by mixing a color with black, so a value is decreased. Hue is what we most often think as a color, such as red, yellow, blue. It has 100% saturation and 100% brightness. It is calculated in degrees and it refers to a color's location on the color wheel. We can get different tints of color by adding white to a color or we can get different shades of color by adding black to a color. And finally, adding gray will give us different tones of colors. Saturation is how pure the hue is. So simply, what is intensity? A full saturation means that the pure based hue is used. Saturation is calculated in a percentage value between 0 and 100%. 0 means there is no color, uh, so it's a shade of grey uh, between black and white. And 100 means intense color. Brightness is an amount of white or black mixed in with the color. It is also calculated as a percentage value uh, between 0 and 100%. 0 means black. Take a look at these two colors. Brightness of both is 100%, but blue is clearly darker. You may ask me why. When analyzing colors, we have to look at luminosity as well. Luminosity is the measurement that describes the perceived brightness of the color, and its range from white to black. When you want to check the luminosity of the color, you can pick it in Photoshop and check it there. RGB stands for red, green and blue and it refers to three hues of light that can be mixed together to create different colors. The RGB color model is additive model. When 100% of each color is mixed together, it creates white light. When 0% of each color is combined, no light is generated, creating black. Combining red, green and blue is the standard method of producing different color images on the screens such as TVs, a computer monitor and uh, smartphones uh, screens. Take a look at what's happening right now. We can separate each image to three channels, red, green and blue. It means that each color you look at your screen is made by these three colors. 
Each parameter, red, green and blue, defines the intensity of the color as an integer between 0 and 255. For example, this value is rendered as blue because the blue parameter is set to its highest value, so 255, and the other are set to 0. If you want to practice this, you can open a color picker in Photoshop and play around with different values. Look at hue, saturation, brightness and uh, RGB as well. And don't forget to pay attention to luminosity too. I hope there is no mystery behind colors for you by now. And please let me know in the comments if you want me to do the next part. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video. Like this. Like this.